Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nita here from Next with Nita and today get excited because we are doing a full-on drugstore makeup look. Everything on my face is drugstore. I have used these products for a really long time. Most of these I purchased with my own money, not something that was gifted, just what I've tried and I loved and it's about time that I share them because I know I'm used to sharing a lot of more higher end products but a lot of y'all are requesting drugstore items so these are the products that I think compare very well to stuff that you get from Sephora. So if you wanna learn how to do this look from head to chin, then keep watching. First thing first, I'm gonna start with primer, and this is Wet n Wild Face Primer Dewy. I have dry skin, as most of you guys know, so I needed something that is like creamy, dewy, thick, and will just kinda of grip onto my makeup without leaving like a matte finish. Another thing I like about this particular product is it is cruelty free. And it looks like this going on has a little bit of a tint and you can kind of already see a little bit of that, a little bit of that glow as soon as I put it on beep, beep. now that my skin is prepped I'm going with L'Oreal true match foundation and I sort of just shade matched myself so this is actually warm 4.5 so it's labeled as fresh beige I'm just gonna take some and put it in the back of my hand I like the shade it's a little more tan and I do like to go a little darker on my foundation I just I like looking tan you know what I'm saying next up I'm gonna go in and fill my brows this is elf brow precise and I'm in the shade no this is ultra precise brow pencil is what it's really called and I'm in the shade cool brown I really like the the tip of this you can really get in your brows and get in all the sparse areas. I'm gonna go in and do my usual. Go down on my brows. You kind of see where the sparse areas are and you fill them in. Brows are done and now we're gonna go in with concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is actually one of my favorite drugstore concealers. There we go. Um, so what I like about this is the sponge applicator. It makes it so easy to just go on. I go in between shades medium and I believe it the other one is sand. The one I'm using right now is medium though. See how easy it is just to go in, cover up those dark circles. And it does wear really well throughout the day and provides me enough coverage. And since I have dark circles, for me to say that means quite a bit. I'm gonna bring this down the bridge of my nose, up in the forehead, right here, and then right here. Just areas you want to brighten up, basically. Who wants to see Snuffy? A guest appearance from Snuffy the Influencer. I'm gonna have him show up at the end of this. He's currently sleeping right next to me. Blend, 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 blend. And then I am taking it over my eye just because that's just usually dark for me and I like to brighten it up and it makes for a great eyeshadow base. Then in order to conceal my dark circles, I'm gonna go in with this Honest Beauty translucent this bronzer is from physicians formula it is just it's called a butter bronzer and the shade I'm using is sunkissed but it has a bit of a sheen and a shimmer to it I don't know if you can see but it is stunning stunning this is very comparable if not even better than a lot of the high-end ones that I do have I've talked about this before, but if you have a larger forehead like I do, then you want to take your bronzer further down right here to give the illusion of a smaller, more reasonable sized forehead. This might be one of my favorite drugstore products, period. Not even just in the bronzer category, like any category, this one's amazing. So moving on, we're going to go into blush, 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 what do I have for blush, what do I have for blush? Okay. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bronze my nose a little, up a little bit too, make it look a smidgen smaller. I'm gonna use the same one. The shade seems on point as long as I blend it out. Does my nose look smaller? <laughs> it does, it does, it does. Look who has arrived. <laughs> Snuffy, come on, you gotta get up higher so the whole world can see you. Mwah. Hi. Hi world. I'm Snuffy. I'm Snuffy. Forgot to share this product with y'all. It's the Master Blur Stick by Maybelline. This does a really good job after you put on primer. Just take it down your T-zone. Um, this is a really good job hiding like large pores and fine lines, especially before you put foundation on so it sets in nicely. I don't have super large pores, so I don't use this all the time, but I'm if I'm feeling like, mm, like texture issues on my skin, then I wanna, I'll go ahead and use this. The blush that I have is by Milani. This is the Baked Powder Blush in shade 05. 05. Here we go. Let me show you what it looks like. It's like a really nice corally, corally color. And since I'm wearing green, coral and green just go together so nicely. I'm going in hard with the blush because throughout the day, blush is the first thing that'll fade on your skin. So like within an hour or two, it'll just fade in. So I'm cool with going in hard. Kind of just take it up on your forehead a little bit. Give you more of a flushed look. CoverGirl has a lot of good eyeshadow palettes. The one I'm using is the Full Spectrum. So saturated, very fall, very fall. I'm gonna take this middle brown color into my crease. We're gonna go in with this dark brown right here and then I'm just gonna place it right here. Just like boop, boop. And then just blend it out upwards. I'm basically setting this color right here and then dragging it right below the crease. And then more outwards here. This will just kind of create some dimension and the layering effect on your eye. Make it look like, you know, you put in some work, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna take a smudge brush, smudge brush, kind of, it's like a teeny tiny little brush that looks like this. This is really good for just carrying over the product on your bottom lash line. So put that light color here. And we're gonna go in with the darker shade and connect up here. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful gold shimmer. Deposit the color and then blend. Then we're gonna take um, I'm gonna blend this one and then this one and I'm gonna just do the inner corner of my eye. Just take both both shades. Ooh. Just pop that in your inner corner. Going in with Maybelline's gel pencil liner. This is their Tattoo Studio collection. Pretty much just black. Just black. I'm gonna go in and just kind of like add some to my waterline here. This highlighter beats so many high-end ones. This is molten gold, very pigmented, like deposits such beautiful shimmer. Just, mm, you look radiant with this one. I just love it so much. I'm gonna go in with the highlighter brush that blends with me. And then I also like to take it up my forehead, give that some glow to tie in the whole look. Next up for mascara, this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. This, to me, this one compares really well to the Lancome one. It just reminds me of that one so much and really, really good quality. Doesn't clump, goes on pretty smooth. Close up to mascara, Ajit has things to say you like it, looks good. That looks really good, baby. So this is a mascara that if you're looking for a good one but don't want to spend too much money, highly recommend. I actually pull this one a lot compared to a lot of my other um, high-end ones from Sephora, but close up and personal. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, great. All right, we are almost done. So this is what the look is coming out to be. 
really nice glow. So I'm gonna now finish up with lip. This is by NYX. And I'm trying to find this, it's SLLP 14 Nude Suede Shoes. <laughs> that is the color of this lip liner. I'm gonna go and I feel like this is gonna match really well with like my blush, eyeshadow. And then we're gonna do the Revlon Ultra D Vinyl Lip Polish. The packaging for this collection is so cool, so retro. And this shade is bum, 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 950 Act Natural. <laughs> Act Natural. Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. I'm gonna top it off with this on my lips right here. It's just really like shiny. Glittery. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just gonna go on top and let that sit. Oh, this is pretty. Let that sit right here. Put it together. I'm basically just gonna do the center. Last but not least, for this whole look, we're gonna go in with Pixie Glow Mist. Very comparable to Urban Decay Setting Spray. Um, this is just a good drugstore alternative. Woo! Overdose. If you have dry skin like me and you're using more matte products, you can go in with the spray, whether it's this one or a different one, and go in like right after you put foundation, add some spray. Right after you do concealer, add some spray. That way your whole look the whole time is just very nourished and hydrated. And this is the final look. So super easy to do and all the products are incredibly affordable. You can find them at your local Target or just whatever drugstore is near you. I will link up all the products I use down below, all of which I've tried and I love and I think are like killing the game in the drugstore realm. And most of these are very comparable to the stuff that you get from Sephora. So if you have any questions, let me know down below, but be sure to hit the subscribe button and we will chat soon. Bye. I'm gonna get up close and personal.